hi everyone welcome back to my channel katie wayne builds i am back i'm so sorry for not being able to upload any video for the past um, i think it's been a month um sadly my family contracted covid and then um after, well we've, we've been good for two weeks now and then after that um university has started for me so i really couldn't get into recording the, the face cams but now i am here i am fresh from class and i am going to be showing you guys what the build that I was supposed to upload before my family had COVID. So, um, as you guys remember, I really, really love like the tiny living pack. But the thing is, I can't afford it yet, so I just tried to make use of what I wish it would look like if I had a tiny living pack. So, this is um, a 20 by 15 lot in Oasis Spring called Nookstone. Um And I really, really like this build because, well, I spent almost like just... 15 minutes or to 20 minutes creating the book because it was so small and it was still so cute um so since this was in the middle of the desert i wanted to make it look like it's just a one story house that has everything in it so this is actually a two bedroom house um for a single mom and her daughter um yes i create stories in my head when i make these boats um so as you guys could see i have used now the bb move object sheet bb show live edit objects cheats and the bb show hidden object sheet cheats so why do i use that it's just so i could get the cars um i really really don't care about the other debug stuff i just really really want to get the cars and also um for everyone's um, information um, how I get my builds to have an infinity, um, well, an infinity cost that I don't have to actually pay for it as a sim. You guys know what I mean. Uh, I think you know what I mean. So, um, what I do is that I use, um, I do the builds first before I actually create the sims. So, um, it's a cheat that I use and then I do the free real estate on cheat for the sims. So I would be able to have them move to um, this place and as you guys can see we're in a desert it's gonna be hot this is like uh, for base game this is the hot part uh, it, it's the only place where it has a warm temperature and um, the entire Sims 4 base game universe and even if you had the seasons pack uh, during winter it really doesn't snow here it's just really really cold and it rains so it feels like the philippines and uh, i'm from the philippines it feels like that it's a very tropical very hot country and as you guys can see i am sweating right now from the heat so anyway um i'm doing the deck right here since i'm planning to put on a pool um since it's going to be really, really hot here and i'm really planning to buy the seasons pack very very soon so i would get well all the seasons and it, and it's really really fun um so I could also get to have like new more build items and be able to um, improve some of the builds. Um, and funny thing is during the time that um, I was out and not uploading any videos, um, I kind of deleted the source file as to where this build was um, because I created the new world since I wanted like I got bored of my old world and now I wanted to create a new world. So we're going to go entirely new builds and i'm just telling you guys and a forewarning all of this um my upload schedules would change it won't be every thursday it might be every other thursday i will try to upload as much as i can but um students you know we have our own priorities anyway i am i've finished building the floor plan of the house right here and i'm already into the exterior um i went with the concrete uh, plus wood design since that really looks nice for like really small houses uh, there's just one color of it and then an accent of what the other side would be so um one really really plain exterior and then a very very accented one so as you guys could see right here um it's really really hard how the sims don't give like the double windows that are small like these ones um how you have to like use the, the windows that go all to the floor and sometimes you don't want that but anyway um so i'm finishing up the exterior right here finishing up the roof things i wanted to do a skylight for the roof so as you guys could see here and now we're going to be heading into the interior of the entire house so um as you guys remember i really really do like um having templates 
for my interior and there's this thing that I do that uh, the, you guys know the build a room stuff right um, in the build mode um, I do um, each room depending on the chron chronological order they are in um, the build a room category of the build mode so after putting on lighting after putting everything out that I need when I'm going into the interior furnishings of the entire house I go for um, uh, outdoor first since I, I wanted to finish the outdoor mainly before I go inside and then I go kitchen um, dining room living room office and then the bedrooms in the bathroom so that's how I do it so anyway um, we're going into the interior right now and as I told you guys this is um, a two-bedroom house um, with one bathroom and it's really, really like small space inside so um, outside I wanted it to have like a deck thing um, alongside the pool and as you guys could see it's a, it's a bit gated but it did have the illusion of the pool having like an infinity style since it's um it's platformed a little bit higher and not like um on the ground so anyway right now i'm going for the kitchen and as you guys know i love how it looks like to just have like a sleek looking kitchen so um i went for a very sleek looking kitchen and um i put a half wall there just so i could um separate the kitchen from the entryway when you enter the house and that's what you're going to be seeing here over uh, over on the right side of the kitchen there's like a small shoe rack and a mirror that goes outside the door so huh, someone messaged me um anyway i'm um, going back to the video um next um i put a wall here just so i could separate um the dining area and the living area because i tried creating this and i actually had the different build of this before i did this build and I like scrapped a lot of the furniture that I initially put and now I'm overriding it overriding it on um, the entire interior of the house so um, as you guys can see I've created like a separate area for the for the dining area then I'm going to be creating a separate area that's the living area so since this is just a place for like um, a single a single parent and their child I just put in like um, not too much space because um, I'm thinking of like how would it be financially if you're a single parent with a child trying to provide for your child and trying to I just, I just got overwhelmed saying what I was about to say anyway um, that's the entire interior of the entire living space um, as you guys can see we might have skipped the video to the offices I cut some portions of it because I told you guys I didn't want you to see some errors and stuff that I created so um, now we're going to be heading into um, <clears throat> I'm so sorry we're gonna be heading into the bathroom um, and if you guys see anything um, from when I scroll up for my build items, please do not judge me. I downloaded the Wicked Whims pack once just to check it out how it is and uninstalled it after I found out um, how it is. So uh, I don't use the Wicked Whims anymore. I don't use any mods. That's what I do with mods actually. Um, I just recently installed the Little Ma Sims um, mod pack which lets you like live in your own business since in the sims they really don't let you live in business slots um and then i tried it after trying it i uninstalled it then now i'm back to playing it basic vanilla and all that so anyway and now we're heading into um the mother's ba uh, the mother's bedroom so i'm not calling it master bedroom since it i, I don't think um it would fit uh and within the realms of interior design definitions i'm not an interior designer by the way i'm just like rambling words but i didn't call it the master bedroom just for that reason so this is the mother's bedroom this is the first bedroom. so um anyway um in this storyline i wanted to create like she was like a mom who likes to party you like the cool one then got pregnant um during a party <laughs> uh this is going more bad than <laughs> but yeah then she ended up having a daughter which she now has to take care of 
but she still likes to party so one thing from her youth that never goes away anyway uh, we're going to be moving on now to the uh, teenagers bedroom yes uh, the sim i created for this one is already a teenager so i didn't put any toys in it there's just a desk uh, for homework um and oh my god my friends are gonna kill me again there is no pc in this build simply because in the sims gameplay teenagers don't really need pcs <laughs> And it's just something that adds up expense and uh, during the teenager uh, era it's just all homework and other hobbies none of the PC so um, anyway so that's it for this entire build since I am now doing the finishing touches and I'm so sorry guys that I have lost um, the face cam uh, my camera's card um, got full and I, I really have no energy to have to change it and reshoot everything all over again so you're just going to be hearing my voice and no face anymore so before this entire build actually ends I'm going to be showing you guys just a little bit of landscaping that I do um, I like clumping over plants um, in the build mode and I know it's not some of these plants really aren't plants that are supposed to be in the desert but um, well it's the sims it doesn't make sense <laughs> So, um, anyway, um, I hope you guys like this build. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. And here you go.